Fantastic Gaming The channel where Logan will show you everything From gameplay to gear, their crew is here To take you on a journey through every atmosphere Releases to news, you don't have to choose But Fantastic Gaming is here for you Hey everybody, Logan here and <laughs> I thought this article was kind of funny. I don't know how many of you guys are going to care because, well, it doesn't affect most of us. But I do have a few uh, subscribers and a few viewers uh, <laughs> from Europe and uh, uh, oh, over there. I'm not 100% sure where these stores are, but the article comes from Video Game Chronicles. Video Game Chronicle? I've I've only heard of this website. Video Games Chronicle. Sorry about that. Videogameschronicle.com. Uh, I only just recently discovered these guys. Don't know how big they are. But I thought this was a pretty funny article. And for the majority of my subscribers, a lot of you guys love the Xbox. So you're going to get a massive kick out of this. But you're like, wait. I thought this was a PS5 video. No, mm, sort of is. Okay, uh, let me just read the article for you. Retailer reportedly puts warning notice on PS5s. Microsoft has bought Activision. Yeah, I get this happened. Like people are now starting to wind down from this topic, but this was hilarious. I saw this article yesterday, day before. It uh, was published on the 29th. It says, Supermarket tells customers to choose your machine carefully following deal news. I guess over there they have different... Um, I guess this would be like Walmart. This is what I'm thinking. This store is like a Walmart. So this is a company. I'm not sure if it's French or... Because it's in a couple different areas. But here, l l let me read the article and we'll figure it out. A Belgian retailer has allegedly been spotted putting a warning on its PlayStation 5 section telling potential customers that they may want to reconsider their purchase due to Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard. So this, um, uh, that's in French, and it says Call of Duty. It basically says, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it, it's a warning saying Microsoft has bought Activision. Choose your machine carefully because Call of Duty. So, as pictured by Twitter user, that guy, Belgian supermarket chain Cora is claimed to have placed the notice on its shelves, which reads, Notice to gamers, Microsoft has bought Activision. Choose your machine carefully. Call of Duty. Okay, so that's what that translates to. Uh, Cora has more than 60 stores in France, 20 more in Romania, Belgium, and Luxembourg. Okay, that's why. Yeah, so I'm not sure where the, the place... Yeah, I guess it's it's based in Belgium, so that would make sense. If the image is accurate, while it's not clear if the core notice is widespread, it could represent another example of wide-reaching influence of the games industry's biggest ever buyout. This is nuts. I just thought this was hilarious. Uh, nowhere here in the States would, you, would a retailer say, Hey, don't buy this one. Buy this one without a company paying i this is this is funny microsoft shocked the games industry earlier this month when they announced it with, yeah okay uh activision creates some of the playstation's most successful games in the form of the call of duty series last year the franchise delivered uh the first vanguard and third black ops cold war black ops cold war was pretty good i'm not a big call of duty guy but cold war was good i like the whole uh reagan and everything I, I i really like that one of the best presidents ever but hey i'm not getting into that <laughs> best-selling games on playstation in the u.s according to the npd Although the future of the series on PS5 and PS4 was initially put into doubt following the acquisition announcement, the earlier messaging from Microsoft appears to be positive for its rival platform holder. Positive meaning, over the next few years it'll still be there. But Microsoft isn't going to, you know, pay billions and still have the game on the rival platform. Warzone, yes, but we talked about this. Mainline Call of Duties after 2024. 2023-2024 Xbox exclusive Warzone will still be on PlayStation. 
Microsoft's gaming CEO eventually confirmed his intention to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation platforms once he, again, just like uh, the Bethesda, you might want to you might want to go into that video games chronicle uh, video games chronicle uh, about what happened and give a little perspective on that. Not keep the facts, but put a little perspective on uh, what they did with Bethesda and Starfield and whatnot. So they they, they kept all their uh, agreements and everything. And that's probably what's going to happen. But that's that's hilarious. It's like hey, don't buy the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> had good calls this week with leaders at sony okay that was the thing that's what that was uh, according to bloomberg sources said the familiar with the publisher's plans activision is reportedly committed to releasing at least the next three call of duty games all right i would have put that up there but okay there we go these are said to be modern warfare 2 from infinity ward later this year a new game from Black Ops developer Treyarch next year, and Warzone 2, which is also said to be planned for release. Warzone 2. There you go. Warzone. That, like I said. But, oh, tell me this ain't hilarious. I know not all of us speak French. I took a couple years of it, so that really didn't help. <laughs> My wife speaks French fluently. Um, she speaks five languages. I just speak English, bad English, you know, and redneck. <laughs> it's it's a claim to something right no okay but this is this is freaking hilarious this is great um tell me what you guys think about this i i know sony fanboys will be up in arms and you know if this was in the states they you people try to cancel it now i don't know if sony fanboys are are snowflakes i don't know i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to talk to my buddy alex you guys know him. Oh no, it's Alex. Yeah, he's him and his fanboy videos. I, I, I'll go see how snowflakey fanboy uh, PlayStation fanboys are when I ask him. But uh, I might send him this article and see if he wants to do a take on it because his takes are spicy, spicy takes. And I, I'll, I'll go into his comments once in a while and troll. It's kind of funny, but not him. Just the the PC fanboys and the other ones. But hey, that's all in good fun. Uh, so yeah, tell me what you guys think. Uh, is this funny? Do you do you think this would ever happen over here? I don't, uh, especially after working for uh, retailers such as uh, Best Buy and and GameStop back in the day. Uh, when I worked for Microsoft, we we would just tell people don't buy Playstations, just buy Xboxes, even though we didn't sell them. But hey, um, yeah. I thought this was pretty funny. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, drop your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video. If anything, just for some, you know, some good belly laughs. We'll call it that. <laughs> Again, hit that subscribe button. Head on over to redbandanagaming.com. Follow us on our socials. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again. <laughs>